This is going to be... I know you say no dudes is a travesty. This is going to be the final dudes. But we have 95 songs. Which it's probably going to take me all evening to get through. And that's fine. I got nowhere to be. Um, <laughs> I don't expect anybody to tolerate 95 songs worth of duding. But here we are. Um, I think because it's been so long since I've played, I want to do one of the... We'll do a 96th song. I want to do one of the built-in tracks to, to warm up. Let me look for a short one. Oh, is it pre... It's previewing them, okay. Um... Let's do Beethoven. I like Beethoven. I gotta warm up. It's been a while since I've done this. R.I.D. Is that Rest in Dudes? What do I do again? I hit a button on the keyboard. Yeah. It's kind of ominous back there. Oh. So apparently... Not every button on the keyboard responds. I just feel like, you know... This may have, uh... Run its course a little bit. This is why I wanted to warm up. See? Every time. She was pretty fun. All right. <laughs> oh, hey, our character's down there. Is that new? I don't remember that happening before. All right. I'm all warmed up. So. Full disclosure. I don't remember every single song that I downloaded because I've consistently been downloading songs every now and then since the last time we did this which was a few months ago. So for example, 216.mp3. I have no idea what this is. Uh, also known as the worst beat ever made. <laughs> okay, if I had to guess, this is gonna be one of the ones that's just really cursed. It does say meme. It's classified as meme, so it's probably gonna be really bad. What's up, Spooky? Just in time to find out what this is. We just warmed up with some Beethoven. Um, happy Saturday. So, okay, let's get into it. We're warmed up, it's time to get through these 95 songs. <laughs> what? This is already bad. Is it called the worst beat ever made because it sounds bad on purpose? <laughs> Bye, you just got here. Where'd our person go? Why is there a camera with a potato? I don't, you know what? I don't want to know. <laughs> what is happening? What the hell? <laughs> I'm glad I didn't warm up with this. This is impossible. <laughs> Nasty. <laughs> Oh, 
What is happening? <laughs> well, <hold up. laughs> what the hell? Oh my god! Not me! <laughs> what is going on? I can't see! It's like a Nintendo getting in the way. That was fantastic. I'm not even gonna lie. I loved that. That was so fucking chaotic and intentionally broken. Oh my god, what the fuck just happened indeed. That was hilarious. I'm so glad that I warmed up with Beethoven and not that because that was a whole experience. That chart was busted on purpose and I love it. Um, also, I noticed the text at the end there said an exception has occurred. Please do to exit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I need. I, oh my god, I need a second. Uh, I need to hydrate after that one. All right, well this one's only five seconds long. What is that, Gargura? A? Eh? The fuck is this? How'd I get a B? <laughs> there, was, there was literally one note. Whatever, I'm not gonna ask any questions. Alright, moving on. Also, I recognize that character. She was on Virgil's uh, pillow in, in my modded Devil May Cry. Adventures of Tanukichi? Don't let this distract you from the fact that Pakora bought a fucking monkey. Okay. Oh, that's cute. See, this is much more reasonable. You're waiting for it to become unreasonable? Don't worry. There are... unreasonable tracks on the docket tonight. I like this chart. That was so feel good. What a nice break from whatever the fuck happened before that. Um, so, you may remember, for example, earlier I did, early, and by earlier I mean previous streams, we did Rush E, and then we did Rush E2. Tonight we have Rush E plus Rush E2. So both songs as one big song. I'm honestly dreading it. It's going to be probably... <laughs> It's probably gonna hurt my wrist. It's gonna be unplayable. All right, up next we have the Animaniacs theme, classic show. Part of my defining childhood shows right there. Oh man, I missed the show. Why does this work so well? Oh, 
Oh, that was wonderful. You've never seen Animaniacs. Wow. I don't know if that's like because I'm just old. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, this is okay. So Animaniacs was 1993. That's older than I thought it was. Holy shit. Well, up next in 1996, we have the Arthur theme. Have you ever seen Arthur? I mean, that's another classic show. Honestly, I never watched Arthur that much. I've seen it. But, you know, it's a classic. You forgot about Arthur? So did I until I saw this chart. Man, I forgot about this song. You did watch it growing up? I love all the memes from Arthur. I love that they included that. There's a screenshot somewhere somebody pointed out that his friend who's a rabbit was wearing headphones. But like the headphones were like not on his ears or something. And people are like, thanks for ruining it. Alright, up next is Autumn Mountain from Paper Mario. 2020? Oh, that's the new one. Okay. The Origami King. See, I've never played Paper Mario, so I always forget there's more than one. I thought it was older. I need to play more Mario games, but right now the only one that I have on my stream backlog is um, Odyssey. Sunshine was your favorite? I have heard... Well, I've had, rather I should say, I've had multiple people tell me that I need to play that one. Like, not should, need. I will say all the Mario music that I've heard, mostly because of this game, is pretty good. Okay, I have played a little bit of 3D World, and I liked what I did play of it. I just never finished it. Sunshine was so much fun. Was Sunshine on the GameCube, or was it later? I don't remember what system that was on. GameCube? Alright, I wonder then if I can find a ROM of it or something. Um, I'd be happy to play it. I could add it to my stream list. It was the last GameCube game that you got before your GameCube got drowned in Kool-Aid. I need... I need details. How? How does that happen? I can understand, like, drowning in water, like if you dropped it in a, a sink or something. How did it get in that much Kool-Aid? I need to know. 
All right, look, we have a Jotastic chart today. Axe to Grind from Persona 5. Another game that's been on my I need to play it list for ever. I'm still so impressed by all these animations. Oh god. Alarm on my phone went off and I'm in the middle of a song. Alright, so your brother and you were clumsy children, and Kool-Aid was your go-to drink, of course. It's a good go-to drink. Honestly, even as an adult. And multiple cups got spilled. Oh, okay. I've never heard of somebody spilling Kool-Aid all over their console, so... <laughs> I'm just like, how does that even happen? The closest I've had to that is I spilled beer on a laptop once. And unfortunately, the laptop did not survive. That was years ago, though. I will say the Persona games, all the music that I've heard is fantastic. I've actually added some of the Persona songs to my Spotify, and I've never even played the games. Not the one you've never spilled anything on a computer? Well, Riku spilled my beer on stream that one time recently, but thankfully it didn't get on anything but me. A little bit got on the desk, but I cleaned it up. But the computer was totally fine. Can you imagine that if you had just seen a visual of like Riku knocking over a beer and then the stream just cut? <laughs> well, at least you know what happened. That was hilarious. Oh, I like the little wave. <laughs> that was hilarious for you, maybe. I was covered in beer. Rue is trying really hard to spill your beer right now. You had the perfect opportunity, Solism, to say right meow, and you didn't take it. All right, backside of the TV. What is this from? It's another Jotastic. Okay, darkness, endless despair, fear no more. I don't know what this is from. <laughs> Sexy Lounge. Oh my. Is this another Persona track? <laughs> what is happening? Honestly, who can tell? <laughs> Let's just assume that's what it's from. Oh. Why is this reminding me of that song from The World Ends With You, talking about putting money in the bank or whatever it was? Something something, do you need a drink? It took a turn. <laughs> oh, 
This is the Dita song. <laughs> hey, the beat's not bad. I have to say, I'm disappointed there are no World Ends With You songs uh, in the mod world here. I've seen people request it. It's never been made, though. At least not that I've seen. I'm dizzy, busy, and lazy. Yeah, is that what it was? <laughs> Man, memory unlocked. I forgot the words. Probably because I blocked them out. I must say, this is very repetitive. And every time we play one of these custom charts, I just love the, like, clash between the trombone champ people and the anime people. This is still going. I don't want to know what this is from. It's very well animated. There we go. How long is this song, you ask, as it's over? <laughs> it's very well animated. What is that from? I'm gonna do a quick Google. Backside of the TV. It is indeed from Persona 4. How about that? Alright. Okay. Oh lord, this one's almost five minutes long. What is this? The Battle of Award 42 needs more birds. Alright. This is what happens when I download tracks, like, three months ahead of time. Whoa! I don't know what this is, but... It sounds like it's gonna be fun. Oh god, I can't keep up. What's up, Fio? I can't keep up. Wait, what's the what's the timing? I gotta listen. Okay. I'm still not getting it. <laughs> I'm so sorry to this song. And there we go. I want to know what this is from. Pretty good. Oh, it's getting faster. I had 
in time. Okay. No wonder I like it. That game's got great music. Oh, God. There we go. Getting the hang of it. Maybe not. Ahem. This is so fast for me right now. Slow down a little bit. Thank you. Hey, they really listen to me. song is a vibe. Yeah, I really like it. Like I said, that game has a great soundtrack. I've never played it, but I've watched the majority of it during a 24-hour stream when I was working overnight shift. Pixel Tix was playing through it, and she was still going when I went back to work the next day. <laughs> I watched a good chunk of the game. That song was great. I actually really enjoyed that. I need to sit down and play that game at some point. It looked like a lot of fun. Okay. Up next we have another nearly five minute song. Berry Delight. Berry... Oh. <laughs> I get it. Berry Delight. I get it. This is Virgil's battle theme. Berry the Light. From Devil May Cry. How fitting. However, it's only 4 minutes and 48 seconds long. Um, interesting. I wonder if this is modified or changed somehow, because the actual song is like 10 minutes long. They probably trimmed it into like a radio-friendly version or something, if I had to guess. Um, look at that difficulty, though. <laughs> Full difficulty. Alright, bury the meme deep within. That tells me they might have done something with this. I don't know. Virgil's battle theme, though, is a fantastic song, so... I'm excited about this. And of course, there he is in his plastic chair. How fitting! How fitting. Oh god! Oh, it's sped up. Yeah, the normal song is not this fast. I wonder... Yeah, listen to it. It's like way sped up. They did something to it. Chair, I know. It's one of the iconic Virgil memes. We technically had that, except we also had the Ender Dragon portal sitting there. 
So his battle theme is way better not sped up. I would have been more than happy to play the regular 10 minute version of it. Extreme dudes. <laughs> Trombone champ is extreme as you want to make it. Honestly, the sped up makes it sound worse. Like, it kind of ruins the song for me. Even without the trombone. bad, honestly. <laughs> Don't judge the song based on this performance. Oh, God. <laughs> what the hell? I can't do this. It's very, very bad. I see what you did there, and yeah, <laughs> it really is. I can't tell if they did anything to distort it or if they only sped it up, but it does not sound right at all. Maybe I'm just so used to the normal version. Based on the fact that it's five minutes long, and it's going faster, I'm guessing they just put it on double speed. <laughs> this is so bad. <laughs> I'm sorry, Virgil. It's not my fault. <laughs> well, that was the time. They probably just wanted it to be impossibly hard. I mean, it wasn't impossibly hard. It was pretty hard, though. I just, I wish that there was a version of it that was the normal speed, you know? I would totally play the full length thing. All right. Man, we're churning out the five minute tracks tonight, huh? Up next is Big Enough. If I remember what this is, it's a really ridiculous pop song that turned into a meme. Yeah, it totally is. <laughs> this is exactly what I thought it was. Oh no. You know this one, Solism? <laughs> I'm not singing no lyrics, especially when it gets to that part, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Got 
god, this sounds so bad. I don't think I've ever actually seen the lyrics until now. Sorry, what the fuck is this? You might re you might recognize it eventually. If not, then you just haven't seen the meme. God, when does that part come up? You didn't know it had other lyrics? Oh, it's a whole song. It's not just that part. Oh, here we go. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh man, that's amazing. <laughs> Amazing. I just want to know why did that happen? Why did they make that choice in the middle of that song to just have a cowboy in the sky screaming? <laughs> It's very random, but it made for a fantastic meme. The modded animation is pretty much recreating the music video. This cowboy dude just like appears in the sky. <laughs> What's up, Manta? The screaming cowboys in the sky meme, yeah. What crazy songs have I missed? Oh boy. That was wonderful. Um, well, I feel like later in the night I might need to replay the very first modded song that I played just because it was so funny. Um, it was so broken on purpose. I haven't missed anything too crazy besides that, Monza. Um, we played a Persona song. I think two Persona songs, actually. Um, what is this? Blackout City? Anamanaguchi. Anamanaguchi are a New York band known for combining chiptune and digital electronic sounds with traditional band instrumentation. This song is from their album Dawn Metropolis. 2009. Wow. I couldn't name a single one of their songs if you asked me to. Not even gonna lie. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> I love that background. Oh no, I know that I would know them, I just can't name any of their songs.
Like, I'm pretty sure I recognize this. Oh god. And that robot's jamming out back there. Whoa. What was that about impossibly hard? <laughs> but very difficult. The longest combo is five. <laughs> Never ends. <laughs> no, it ends right there. It's helpful having the timer up top so you know when it's over. That was a very fun song, but very difficult. Okay. What is this? Blooming Villain. Thank God. What, you didn't like that one, Monson? I have a pleasure room. Do you want to see it? Fucking what? Background by Joe Tastic. This is Persona. This is Fifty Shades of Grey. Oh god. It's the creepy dude? Is that this guy's a creepy person? We're barely into the, the track list, and we've already done multiple Persona songs. Not him, the guy in the painting. Okay. Yeah, he looks like somebody that would... Never mind. <laughs> so who's the guy dancing in the squad, then?
A different no shit. <laughs> And the painting as the teacher was creeping on the students. Oh, well, we don't like that. His name is Yusuke? Did I say that right? I'm just gonna start assuming that if it says the chart was made by Joe Tastic, that it's probably Persona. Furthering the point that I made earlier, all the music in Persona is so good, and I've never played them, but I really appreciate the soundtracks. That was good. I, I really like that one. If the game let you date male characters, he would have been your number one pick. Wow. Is he one of the main characters? All right. Up next is Bring It On, tromboner version. Joe Tastic. Is this another Persona song? It's classified as Vocaloid. Or is this something else? What? What? I'm getting the feeling this is not Persona. <laughs> what? Yes, he does Vocaloid too, yeah. <laughs> That's what I get for assuming. Oh yeah, he did those like Miku songs that we played before, right? Wow. That was intense. <laughs> you think it's from Persona Strikers? I don't know what that was from. But it was very intense. Alright. We're taking it down a notch now. We're going way back to 1983, the Charlie Brown and Snoopy Show theme. After we just hyped ourselves up with uh, Bring It On. Oh god, I'm missing all the notes. Oh, 
I'm so bad at this. I'm so sorry, Snoopy. I'll take a B. Up next, we have Confronting Myself from Celeste. Four minutes long. Music played when you're fighting Badalyn. Honestly, probably my favorite song in the entire Celeste soundtrack. Um, I am impressed that somebody was able to chart this because the Celeste soundtrack is uh, very intense. <laughs> I will do your insult, Dizzy, after this song. Oh shit. I've been meaning to replay Celeste, honestly. I really want to. It's so good. I see what they're doing, though. I was expecting this to be a lot more impossible. I'm relieved that it's like this. Actually works really well. I think it actually works very well. I'm glad that this is like kind of a slow, easy to play chart. just making me want to play Celeste all over again even more. How'd that get in there? What's up, Tavi? The wiggly monster in the back? That's battling. Celeste was in, for me, the very early days of my streaming. Like, not long after I got affiliate was when I played through this. It was very difficult. But I really enjoyed it. And I've always wanted to go back and play it again. Especially now that I know what to expect. Boom. <laughs> uh, that's hard to explain. Let's just say it was the villain of the game. 
All right. S. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. All right, I owe Dizzy an insult before we move on to the next song, which is apparently Corona time. <laughs> you remember seeing me play Celeste? You still have it downloaded. It's a fantastic game. You have to go into it knowing that it's difficult. Um, that's kind of the whole point. It's meant to be hard. All right, Dizzy. I have your Shakespearean insult for you for today. You are a greasy, hard-haired costermonger. Greasy, hard-haired costermonger. Greasy is defined as big-bellied. Hard-haired is defined as partly of noble and partly of low birth. And costermonger is a cuckold, a man whose wife was unfaithful and thought to grow horns. <laughs> greasy, hard-haired costermonger. Tracks. <laughs> Oh, wow, don't be so don't be so mean to yourself. All right, there's your Shakespearean insult. Remember, you asked for this. It is not me. All right, Corona time. 10 seconds long. I don't fucking know, man. What? What? Fucking what? <laughs> what the hell was that? Okay. I don't know who that was. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting, but it was not that. No, not, not for me either. All right, up next we have from an anime, from the anime Clanad? Clanad? I don't fucking know. Dango Daikazoku? Something? I'm so bad at pronouncing things. It's an anime intro. This is not what I expected. What? <laughs> It's one of your favorite animes. I downloaded this today right before the stream because it was a new chart that was just posted today. I've never heard of this in my life. It seems very, uh, relaxing. I like the mustache blob. I do like the little blobs all over the place. Now there's a rabbit? <laughs> it was very pleasant. They're notorious for kind of surreal realities. I can kind of see that. Okay, Dexter's Lab from 1996. Classic. Also, staple of my childhood. Oh, it was made for this. This is amazing. That worked perfectly. It was like it was made for that. <laughs> uh, you mean dial M for monkey? Yeah, I remember that. All right, Dolphin Shoals version two from Mario Kart 8. We need to do another Mario Kart stream soon.
I love that they're floating on the racetrack. Oh, they're actually racing! I love this. Not the red shell. <laughs> no. Oh, that's rude. <laughs> Luigi, no. Oh, that was beautiful. I I am the tromboter. That was me. Fucking red shells right at the finish line. That was amazing. All right, Ducktales from 1987. Incredible. Incredible. This is older than me. Therefore, it's ancient. Classic show, though. Also, why does this sound like you make my dreams come true by Hollow Notes? That's the in-head mashup I can never get out of my head. Classic. Oh, now streaming on Disney Plus. <laughs> I like that. It's like they literally just took the commercial. All right. Do we have any Star Wars fans? Love that show so much. Yeah, DuckTales is a classic. Duel of the Fates is also a classic. This is from the Star Wars Episode One, um, which is not a fantastic movie. Like, it's okay. It's not super great. It's the one with Jar Jar Binks. But this song. This is from the duel against Darth Maul, and it is a fucking fantastic song. Swoosh, swoosh, lightsabers. It's a great song. Um, yeah, there it is. It's going to be very difficult to play, though, I feel like. Because of this shit. Can't even hear the song anymore. <laughs> oh my god, there is no song, it's just me? <laughs> that makes it a lot less awesome. I can kind of hear it. Okay, there we go. I mean, the best part of Star Wars Episode One is that you have Liam Neeson and Ewan McGregor together just swinging lightsabers around. I mean, what more do you need? Ha 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 ha! 
I'm glad I can hear the song now. And then there's this again. <laughs> I spoke too soon. <laughs> it sounds so bad when it's just the trombone. If any part of this VOD gets muted, it'll probably be this. Fucking Disney. Though, they didn't mute some of the Pixar songs we played, so I don't know. God, I kind of wish that they had the whole fight scene happening in the background. That would have been incredible. Why do they keep doing this to me? It's fun, but I wasn't expecting it to have, like, dead silence half the time. Alright, up next is Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Another classic. That was probably one of my favorite cartoons when I was younger. Shit, I'd watch it now. It's so good. Again, this was made for this. I was expecting someone to redeem many doors. You were a Cartoon Network child? So was I, though. I was a Nickelodeon child with Spongebob, in particular. Your last job had a plank? Did it really? Okay. I have to warn you guys. This is cringy. <laughs> Hello, Ed Boys! Thank you. I have to warn you that this is very cringe. This is a streamer or a YouTuber or someone trying to sing... Uh, I believe Imagine Dragons. And I watched the video of the chart and I was just cracking up. And I was like, you know what, fuck it, why not? <laughs> We've played dumb shit on here before. <laughs> Wake up to the sounds of the silence that allows for my mind to run around with my ear up into the ground. This is so bad. <laughs> Sorry to this man. Noisy made. They do that. We're saying with their mouth. They sing. Oh, the misery. Everybody wants to be my enemy. This is so bad. Everybody wants to be my enemy. Ah. You great. <laughs> oh, the misery. Every 
to go left her in the halls. I stack it up my mind, I'm waiting for the time when I show you what it's like. The world's gonna die. Tell you you're the greatest. Every single person is my enemy. <laughs> Spare the sympathy. Everybody wants to be my enemy. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> oh man, you know what I was thinking of the entire time I was playing that? The fact that he's really trying and this is real. I mean, like, you know, salute for actually trying, but it was bad. Um. So, the entire time I was playing that, I was thinking of the Liz Truss resigns, for some reason. Fearless Hero, from Puss in Boots, The Last Wish, which I still need to see! Um, supposedly that movie was really good. Um, everybody was saying it was fantastic, and I've yet to watch it. Movie night when? We can do a movie night. I'm assuming you mean for this. <laughs> yeah, I heard that movie was really, really good. Um, like, surprisingly so. Final Fantasy 1 battle scene. This is like the OG classic battle music for Final Fantasy. Fun fact, I've never even played Final Fantasy 1. It's been on my list for years, and I just have never gotten around to it. I want to get the pixel remasters that came out recently. I was not expecting the, the fanfare to come in. You owned it on PSP but never played it? Oh man, I forgot about the PSP. I still remember trying to play Birth by Sleep and just the load times were unbearable. This is apparently enough to make a grown man cry. This is 2009 already. Good lord, Fireflies by Owl City. 2009? I did not realize it was that old. I can't believe it's that old already. Five hundred people were screaming, I believe it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I 
It's a great song. Normally. You still listen to this? So do I. It's a good song. I just can't believe it's as old as it is. Works really well in this too. The trombone has done something to it. What? What did it do, Bata? Ruin it? They did have another song. I'm trying to remember what it was. They had another song that was on the radio at some point. I can't remember what it was called. Also, I think they had a song that they did with, um... God, who was it? I want to say they did a song with, like, Carly Rae Jepsen or somebody. I can't remember. It was somebody. But yeah, they had more songs than this, but this is the one that pretty much everybody knows them for. Vanilla Twilight, that's the one I know. Yeah, I know that one. That one was pretty good. So, correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't Al City just one guy? Like, the guy singing, isn't it just him? And, like, he makes everything himself? Yeah, it's, it's actually just one guy, yeah. See, I was just thinking, I was like, I'm pretty sure it's actually just one person. Um, anyway. Okay. Taking it back to Celeste, we have first steps. Death count, 10,345. Not joking. My death count was, like, 9,000 and something. Uh, which, Monte, you said you've never played Celeste. Um... That's not an exaggeration. I, I think by the time I finished the game, it said that I had, I had died, like, almost 10,000 times. Um, that's just the nature of the game. This is from the very beginning, I believe. Oop. See, this is what I was expecting in the last one we played. I think it works. You don't know? I think it works. I'm just enjoying hearing it. I love the Celeste soundtrack. Honestly, the Celeste soundtrack is up there for me with Final Fantasy soundtracks, and like, I'll put it on at work or something just to have background noise. I love the soundtrack to this game.
I think it works just fine in this, honestly. You're judging my inability to play it as opposed to the chart. It helps that I know the song. When I know the song, I have a much easier time playing it. Which I guess is to be expected. Still making me want to replay this game again now. shit. I loved that. I thought it worked just fine. I enjoyed playing that a lot. I'll take an A. Fly or Die, originally composed for bass, trombone, and piano. What is this from? I have no idea. <laughs> what? Trombone Champ Auditions? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I can already feel the judgment. doing horribly. I should be concerned that he hasn't changed his expression at all. Thank you. 
It's a very nice song, but I have no idea what it's from. Osmanthus wine tastes the same as I remember. But where are those who share the memory? What's up, Humming Sword? Someone should make the drum solo from Whiplash? Oh my god. Can you imagine? Also, I mentioned this earlier. We have the combined Rush E and Rush E2 on the list tonight. So, wish me luck. It does kind of give me Whiplash vibes, though, I'm not going to lie. Now that you mention it. I can't do these parts. He clapped for us while he looked angry. Okay. Fragile. It's another Vocaloid song animated by Joe Tastic. It's a song by Nullet? I don't know. Covered by Vivid Bad Squad. These always take a second to load. Oh my god. Oh jeez. Not a bad song.
Yeah, I'd really like to know how they animate these as well, because it's always so well done. Alright, up next we have the Freakazoid theme. Wow, from 1995. I mean, I knew it was 90s, but I thought it was later than that. It was a weird show, but honestly, I loved it. And the 90s were a time for cartoons. You never watched this show? Wow, Steven Spielberg made that? I didn't realize that. Um, it was very weird. It was a very bizarre show, but it was it was funny. I liked it. Futurama! By Bender's shiny metal ass is actually made out of 100 recycled silver trombones. There are amazing newer cartoons. I'm not saying that there aren't. It's just some of those older cartoons were very weird. I forgot this started in 99. Aren't they bringing it back yet again? Classic. You didn't know they ever stopped it? Yeah, it, it, it ended a few times. And there were like movies and stuff. Game of Thrones theme. I still like that show, even if the last season kind of ruined the whole thing. It was one of the intros that never got skipped. Even marathoning a season never skipped. Between it just being so good, and the fact that they would change it to where the map was updating based on what was happening in the show, it was always worth watching. Still need to watch House of Dragon. God, the intro is so good. Just the animation and everything. Man, that was nostalgic. It just pulled emotions you forgot you had. Seriously, I haven't actually like seen the intro since I was watching the show. All right. <laughs> we got any Lord of the Rings fans here? Gandalf Sax. A tromboner never plays late nor early. They play precisely when they mean to. I can't wait. I know we did Hobbits to Isengard last time. <laughs> 
fucking dumb. Fun fact, this song is actually one of my alerts. The song has nothing to do with Lord of the Rings. It's just because Gandalf's in the background. <laughs> so stupid. So stupid. And that's one of the emotes on the Discord is, is him just jamming out. All right, Gwyn, Lord of Cinder. I believe this is a Dark Souls thing? Lord Gwyn trembled at the dark, clinging to his age of fire and in dire fear of humans and the Dark Lord who would one day be born amongst them. Lord Gwyn resisted the course of nature. Dark Souls is a game that I am afraid to play. I'm assuming that's what this is from anyway. Especially with the campfire that has a trombone in it. <laughs> Totally Dark Souls, that's what I thought. I like the music of that game, but... I don't think I can handle playing it. Shock, this isn't hard as hell to play. I know, seriously, like... You'd think the Dark Souls track would be like, Hey, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I will admit Dark Souls 3 and Elden Ring both are very very full of cursed mods like I was looking online and there is just so many you could literally I don't know if you remember how badly Left 4 Dead 2 was, was messed up we could pull that with either of those games That'd probably be the only way that I'd play them, to be honest. I don't think I could play them seriously at all. Well, that guy's got a wolf. Elden Ring was very pretty to look at. Yeah, it's a gorgeous looking game. I'll give it that. Pretty song. I liked that. That was nice. See, that was like relaxing. You know, it would probably help me unwind and de-stress. The complete opposite of what playing that game is like. Halo Reach main theme. The iconic main theme from one of the greatest video games of all time. If this side goes up was here, he would completely agree. Halo Reach, I think, is his favorite. Honestly, the Halo games are a lot of fun. I really like them. Doubt? <laughs> what are you doubting?
Wow, this song is so loud you can barely hear the trombone. You don't think he thinks it's the best? I'm pretty sure he said in the stream chat before that Halo Reach was his best. You've never played a Halo game in your life. Fuck the multiplayer. Screw that. It's all about the campaigns. The story mode is so good. Really easy going, simple to play, relaxing. Feels like a calm before the storm. I feel like I'm playing trombone jam right now. It just feels like I'm listening to the song. How'd we do? Hell yeah! Yes. Alright, up next is Here Comes Plum. Hopefully this is better. It says it's from an official soundtrack. But I have no idea what it's from. Oh god, this is... Fast. It looks like it's from a... Obviously a game. That's fun. It's called Here Comes Plum. I didn't catch what it's from. Looks like it's from a game that looks insanely difficult. Chenso Club? 
register for Steam Playtest, so it's it's a game that really exists. <laughs> There you go, it's from something called Chenso Club. But yeah, that was a really fun song. If their goal with that song was to get me interested in the game, it definitely worked. Hey Ya by Outkast, which is apparently 20 years old. 2003. Holy shit. This is a classic song, and I don't care what anybody says, it's a fantastic song. I kind of wish it was playing the music video, though. You loved it? It works very well. God, it works so well. What's sad is you still listen to this? That's not sad, it's a great song. This is a certified bop, right? There is nothing wrong with this song. This part always makes me laugh, though. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> it makes me think of the 10 hour loop where it gets to that part and it's just him saying, all right, and it never changes. <laughs> it's, it's one of my favorite memes. really fun to play, honestly. Yeah, I love that song. Certified bop indeed. No shame. What's next? Hide and seek swamp edition. What? Hide and seek, but there's somebody in your swamp. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, I think I I think oh no. Um I think this is another shit post. Oh no. Oh, my God. 
What? I'm just waiting for Shrek to show up. Maybe he won't. Maybe we are Shrek. <laughs> Why do we look green? This just feels like a normal song. I see why it says Folktronica. Just based on the way it sounds. Trying to place the actual song. Hide and seek. It sounds familiar. It's All Star? What? No, I can't tell. <laughs> Why is it called hide and seek then? I don't hear it at all. No, I could not tell at all. <laughs> oh well. I'll take your word for it. I I couldn't tell at all. That was interesting. I got no time. Five nights at Freddy's 4. Oh boy. I've never played a Five Nights at Freddy's in my life. Oh Jesus! <laughs> yeah, I don't think that. I, I, never mind. It doesn't matter. That's really terrifying, even in Trombone Champ. Thank you. 
I didn't know Five Nights at Freddy's had jams like this, though. I would have never known this was from Five Nights at Freddy's. If I just heard it somewhere. That was really good. You don't recognize this? I wonder what it's from specifically, then. I liked it. I am mean intro. Lost, frightened, confused, are you enough of a bookworm to toot the song of I am mean? You're glad you weren't the only one who could hear. I swear, I just, I couldn't tell. If that's what it was, then, you know, <laughs> then I'll believe it, but I, I couldn't tell at all. One of the worst ones, what? Five Nights Four? Wow, this is old. Wow. What the hell is this? That was I Am Mean. That is old. Old, old. 1995. Alright, in the final, slash the grand finale from Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. Toots, I am lacking in toots. Oh, wow, okay. Again, another Mario game I haven't played. Wow. What is happening? I don't know what's going on back there, but it looks like it'd be fun to play.
<laughs> what? <laughs> Is this like an old Game Boy game? It's Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story, but I don't know what it's from. Like, what system? What's wrong with you? Your color is weird. What? Sounded intense. People say it's a good one? I don't think I've ever heard of that one. <laughs> Does anybody know Charlie the Unicorn? Am I about to just seem psychotic as the only person that knows it? I hope not. Uh, in the ocean blue, starfish love me, love me. Wow, 2009. You know Charlie the Unicorn? That's like old school meme. Oh no! <laughs> That's like ancient memes. Um, classic stuff, though. This is what I learned what the concept of a fever dream was. Oh my god. <laughs> Aren't you distracted by the background? Fucking bizarre, man. I kind of wish that they had the original Charlie the Unicorn with Candy Mountain. It just works. Oh, lord. This is its own category as Todd posting? Hold on, I gotta clean my glasses. So, yeah, if you're familiar with Toddbot from the Discord, or Todd Howard himself, Bethesda the Musical. This is gonna be stupid. What? Please welcome the game director of Bethesda Game Studios, Todd Howard. <laughs> oh my god. 
You didn't know Todd was showing up here tonight, did you? This is fantastic. Amazing. Hey, it's the Arl. <laughs> Help. Or it looks like him anyway. They all look the same. Oh, what's up, Guardy? You were working on this? I'm curious what your version looks like. This is fantastic, though. We have a, uh, we have Toddbot on our Discord. <laughs> so as soon as I saw this, I was like, oh, I have to. That looks familiar back there. This is fantastic. I've never actually heard this song before. This is fantastic. Todd is always up to something. Usually shenanigans. Fantastic. You do have two more songs by them in mind, though, that'll definitely make at some point, which would be Count to Three and Doom Crossing. I'm sorry, Doom Crossing Eternal Horizons. Um, what? <laughs> Is that an Animal Crossing Doom crossover? Because I need it. All right. I haven't seen the Mario movie, but everybody, I think, has heard this song. Peaches by Jack Black. Listen to it. It is amazing. I will make a note in my mind to remember to look at it later tonight. Thank <laughs> you. 
Is it supposed to end that abruptly? You'll be sitting in your room and randomly hear kids at the school singing it. So is it like all the rage right now with kids? Casting Jack Black for that movie is probably the best thing they could have ever done though. I mean, casting Jack Black in any movie is a fantastic choice. But I think him as Bowser was perfect. I mean, I've only seen like the trailers and a couple clips, but I think he was perfect for, for Bowser. I still need to sit down and watch the movie. Another iconic cartoon from my childhood Johnny Bravo. Man. So many classic cartoons tonight. Classic. Classic. He's probably the one single person in the world that literally everybody loves. He really is. There was a, um... There was a meme I saw recently where it was like, Jack Black is the only person that never needs an explanation. They were like, I could get abducted by aliens and see Jack Black walking around the ship putting, like, corn chips on his hand or something to blend in, and I'd be like, oh, that's Jack Black. <laughs> and it's true, like, he's never out of place in anything that he does. Alright, Kimigure Mercy? Trombona version of the original animation. Oh, it's a Joe Tastic. So what is this? Vocaloid? Not Persona. I said earlier that if I see Joe Tastic, I assume that it's Persona, but that has been wrong the last several times. Oh, here we go. Oh, God. This is really fast. Oh my god.
Wow, that was intense. I wasn't expecting it to come out that fast. Caught me off guard. <laughs> they all just walk away. How'd we do? Yeah. Eh, I'll take a B. Loon Boon. It's like bowling but nuts. <laughs> what? Jazz arrangement. Uh, video game music. I don't know what that's from. Oh! Is this Plants for Zombies? What is this? Oh god. Is that a chicken nugget? <laughs> He looks about as happy as I am when I have chicken nuggets. The walnut? <laughs> yeah, because in, in Plants vs. Zombies it's like a pun, right? It's a wall, like literally a wall. Played Plants vs. Zombies in years. And then I played that Garden Warfare that they did, like the very first one. That was actually surprisingly fun. Sounds great. What's up, Trev? How you doing? Screaming in the background. What? This is a fun song, though. This is jazz arrangement. I wonder, is this like a different version? Is this not what's in the game? You're sweating your ass off. Whoa! <laughs> Mata. Thank you for the five gifted subs. It's a cover! Okay. I was going to say, I like the jazzy sound to it. Reminds me of the, uh, like, ska tune covers that we played in some of the earlier streams. This game makes you straight up sob, it's so goofy. I love this game. Uh, jeez, this is probably the sixth... I want to say sixth time that we've streamed it with custom songs. The stuff that folks like Guardi here make is just really, really great. But yes, Monta, thank you for the five gifted subs. I appreciate it. I don't even... I, 197 total in the channel. Good lord. <laughs> You're like single-handedly keeping the channel alive financially. I have played One Winged Angel. We did that in the very first stream. That's one of my favorite charts just because Sephiroth had the giant trombone. <laughs> it's fantastic.
We've also done to Xanarkand and the battle theme from Final Fantasy X, Final Fantasy One battle theme. There's been a lot of Final Fantasy tracks. Um, and Trev, you said the other day that you're a huge Final Fantasy IX fan. The, uh, somebody charted uh, Melodies of Life. I put a request in the Discord for that and someone made it. It's a, it's a really, really neat chart because Vivi's playing the trombone. <laughs> Up next is the Magic School Bus from 1998. Good lord. Um, for some reason, I thought actually that that was much sooner. I could swear I remember Magic School Bus being earlier in the 90s, but whatever. You think you need to download that? Hold on, I'll give you a preview. I'll give you a preview because uh, for my intro screen today, I was using this, <laughs> which is from the chart. I just like removed the background and I had it on the starting soon screen. The person that made the chart put this VV in the in the chart just playing the song and it's it's wonderful it's wonderful um anyway you've literally watched every episode as an adult wow i remember playing the magic school bus sega genesis game which was fantastic i should stream that with the frizz <laughs> I feel like Miss Frizzle is actually a criminal. <laughs> Child endangerment is a serious thing. Shit. <laughs> You might get baked into a pie. I don't remember that lyric. Wow. <laughs> I missed some notes. Um, I never heard you might get baked into a pie. I should have stayed home. Yeah. Honestly, it, it is it is pretty classic. You mostly remember the episode where they shrink down and go inside the red-haired kid. Also, when he took his helmet off in space, I cried. Yeah, I do remember the episode where they, they shrink down and like go into the kid's bloodstream or whatever. Um, the Sega Genesis game was all about space and like learning about the solar system, and like every level of the game was a different planet. So like you would fly the school bus to the moon, and then you'd fly to Mars and so on. And like in between the levels, it had like you're sitting in the driver's seat of the bus and like you're flying through space. And I played the shit out of that game. Um, it, I don't think it holds up very well, but I played a lot of it. I, I mean, I can probably find a, a ROM for it somewhere. Up next is Meet the Sniper. Tromboners have standards? Background by Joe Tastic. This is from, uh, what is it? God, what's that game called? I can't remember. Team Fortress 2, that's the one. Sniper's a good job, mate. What? It's challenging work, out of doors. I guarantee you'll not go hungry, because at the end of the day, long as there's two people left on the planet, someone is gonna want someone dead. Oh my god! <laughs> What the actual fuck is this? It's from Team Fortress 2, just remade in trombone jam. Oh my god, he's got a trombone. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. God. Dad. Dad. Put, put my phone. <laughs> All right, that was fantastic. The trombone gun was a nice touch. I know that we had um, 
There was another one of those. I forget which class it was, but there was another Team Fortress 2 one that we did before. Moving out, Anthony's song. This is just Billy Joel. There, I don't imagine that this is going to be cursed in any way. It's just Billy Joel. Um, which, fun fact about me, he's my favorite singer, so I saw this and I was like, download immediately. Meet the Soldier, yeah, yeah, we played that one. Uh, that one was pretty funny too, but I think I like Meet the Sniper more. This is probably gonna sound terrible. <laughs> Love it. You love what it says, nasty. Oh, man, I got a <laughs> The very first chart that we did tonight emphasized that in intentionally. Like, part of the background was the word nasty just getting bigger and taking over the screen. It was hysterical. I feel like I want to play that one at the end of the night because that's what we started with. Bring it full circle. Because it was really funny. <laughs> Sounds so bad. I never imagined that I could think Billy Joel sounds bad. <laughs> Here we are. People who make this have great sense of humor, they do. I love the stuff that has been in some of the custom charts. Like, Don't Stop Believin', we played that a couple times ago. And the whole chart had one of the bandmates just getting progressively more angry at you for playing the trombone. <laughs> and at the end of the song, he just like hits you with his guitar. Uh, it was so funny. I love it. See, this part makes sense. Because the song is actually using <laughs> one of these instruments. I'll be right back. Enjoy your lurk. Oh, man. Wow. I never thought I'd see the day <laughs> that I was ready for a Billy Joel song to be done. That was interesting. Anyway, what's next? We got Night Call, short plus vocals. Originally released in 2010, uh, this song became well known for its use in the opening credits of the movie Drive. Okay. I have never seen Drive. Oh, you know what? I do. I, I've heard this before. <laughs> Is, it, is that supposed to be Ryan Gosling? Isn't that who was in it? Oh, 
porn lord. <laughs> I like how it just said two. Yeah, I remember this song. It's like a really good night driving song, you know? Literally, <laughs> in the background. I love how it sounds when you do a, a note by accident. It's just so out of place. It's like that video of the uh, the band playing and then the trombone player sneezes. That shit, that shit puts me in tears. Oh man, I need to find that and post it somewhere. This is a nice song, I like it. Every time, every time I fill up the bar, it disappears. See? Every time. That was a nice song, I liked it. And we got an S. Nice. What do we have next? Oh, here we go. You asked earlier about One-Winged Angel, Trev. <laughs> One-Winged Kong, Coconut Cream Despair. <laughs> um, I don't know what to expect here. Oh, Lord is right. You love this meme? I have a, uh, Donkey Kong Sephiroth emote on my Discord. <laughs> oh, it's everything I wanted it to be. Yeah! <laughs> this is fantastic. Oh my good lord! <laughs> this is wonderful. One Winged Angel was one of my favorite charts for this, so... <laughs> I... <laughs> This is wonderful. New favorite chart right here. In case anyone's wondering, yes, downloading this was exactly why I put that emote on the Discord. <laughs> I could have danced back there. <laughs> oh my god. This is amazing. Oh my god. <laughs> I love this so much. Why does this work so well?
It has no right to be this good. I agree. It's so good. Like, I'm not even mad. <laughs> this, is, this is wonderful. This is Kong, he has no grace. This is Kong, he has a funny face. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh my god. That was fantastic. Yeah, I have to I have to agree. That had no right to be as good as it was. That was glorious. <laughs> I think that's like Thank you. I was literally just about to do that. I feel like that was probably my favorite new favorite new chart. That was that was amazing. Okay. I don't know what, how to pronounce this. Two foot Han. <laughs> I don't know. It's a remix. Something dance and electro. I feel like it's gonna be hard to top that last one. Not this? <laughs> what is this? Oh god. <laughs> this is gonna be cursed, isn't it? It's cursed. Though, oddly enough, not the most cursed thing we've played. We love to see it. Cursed are amazing. <laughs> I'm having war flashbacks. Oh no. Honestly, I think the most cursed chart that I've seen is one that I have not played and will not play. All I'll say is that it's admittedly a pretty catchy song, but it became a meme involving Anka from Animal Crossing, and somebody made a chart. <laughs> 
We're not doing that. Um, why not both? There you go. All right, pink yesterday. This is Jazz. Too Many Zoos is an American brass band who gained fame for viral videos of their performances in locations around New York. Okay. There's a worse one than that? I don't know if I want to know. What's the most cursed thing we've done on stream? Uh, yes. The answer is just yes. Oh my god. <laughs> Too many zoos is good, so you know these guys? Sounds catchy. Oh yeah, the most cursed thing we've done on stream is probably modding Left 4 Dead or Skyrim. Or Devil May Cry. Maybe Final Fantasy. Honestly, anytime we've played with mods, it's been cursed. <laughs> I think One Wing Kong is up there now, too. This is really catchy. I like this. This works really well for Trombone Champ. That was fun. Your coworker plays them quite a bit. Well, your coworker has good taste. I really enjoyed that. Yeah, that's definitely, that slapped. <laughs> that was really good. Okay, up next we have Pleasure Castle. Roller Coaster Go Room. This is from Sonic Adventure. It's been a while since I streamed that one. Uh, that's a game that I played a lot as a kid and I really loved it, but when I streamed it, I realized that it aged horribly because it's very glitchy. <laughs> Soundtrack is still amazing, though. Whoa. Whoa. And it's apparently very loud. <laughs> Why is this so loud? <laughs> Is it just me? Oh my god. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's so loud. <laughs> oh 
Why? <laughs> okay. Luckily, there's only a minute left. Yeah, why is there gameplay audio? So sorry for blowing out everybody's speakers. But yeah, I have to agree with Guardy. Who thought that was a good idea? <laughs> Why would you leave the gameplay audio? Come on. Have they never heard of finding like an MP3 from the soundtrack? Come on. Oh, God, that was cursed. Huh. All right, Pokemon RSE Wild Battle. Glad I wasn't wearing headphones. Yes, that, that, I was. Uh, that that hurt. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I did not know that was gonna happen. Oh, Ruby and Sapphire. Okay. Yeah, I don't understand why they left full-on gameplay audio in there. It's like they literally recorded a clip of them playing the game and then charted that. This is much better. Yeah, it's like a normal audio level. <laughs> it's like whoever made that chart just phoned it in and didn't give a shit. <laughs> oh, man. But to be honest, that about sums up what it's like to play Sonic Adventure. It's just really scuffed. So maybe it was done in the spirit of the game. I don't fucking know. You know, I never played Pokemon Ruby or Sapphire. Were those on the Game Boy Advance? What system were they on? Or was that the DS? I don't actually know. You remember playing Pokemon on a Game Boy Color? I did too. I played Pokemon Blue and Red when they came out. And even though I started playing the trading card game when it came out, I somehow didn't manage to hold on to like any first edition cards into adulthood. Which now could have been worth some money, you know? It sounds like you missed something fun. Uh, what you missed is that somebody made a chart for Sonic Adventure, which is great great game and everything, but they didn't try. They, like, recorded themselves playing the game, and then just charted that. They didn't get the song. <laughs> so there was, like, gameplay audio, and it was incredibly loud. Um, it was, it was scuffed. That Pokemon Jam was a, a nice change of place. Alright, PS Portable Startup. It's like a nut you can play with outside. Apparently. We were talking about the PSP earlier, weren't we? Dizzy? Is that really the whole thing? I love it. <laughs> All right, we can throw that up there with, uh, we did the Game Boy, t or not the Game Boy, the uh, GameCube turn on. You miss your iPad Nano. You know, I had one of those very briefly and then I lost it. Those were the ones that were like the little, little tiny ones, right? Um, yeah, I, unfortunately, I purchased one and I loaded a bunch of music onto it and like two weeks later, I lost it. Brand new. I never bought another one. It was fun while it lasted. 
I also remember when the iPod Touch came out and I was like blown away. I was like, whoa, it's got a touch screen. And like now that's just a fucking phone. Um, that's the shuffle. Oh, okay. Then what was the nano? So, Liz, what were you doing to lose that many? Wait, wait, wait. I'm pretty sure you went through five iPods. How? <laughs> are you breaking them? All right. I don't know what this is. Rhythm Hell. It's a meme. It's 48 seconds long, but it's one star. So how bad can it be? Oh, this. Oh, oh, I know what you're Yeah, the, the tall, like, slim, skinny, uh, slim, skinny ones. I remember those. I never had one of those. I had the shuffle, apparently. What is this? What? What? I'm fired. <laughs> you had your car broken into. And one of the things you took was your broken purple iPad Nano. Well, you know, I'm sorry that you lost that, but jokes on them because it was broken, I guess. All right, that was Rhythm Hell. And now this is Rhythm Purgatory. By the same guy. Oh, no. One, two, three, go! I'm scared. I sound like drum warm-ups. Is this called purgatory because we're just here and we're not playing anything? <laughs> yeah, please tell me. I really hope that it's called purgatory because we don't do anything. <laughs> Please tell me. I don't want a single note. I'm going to be mad if they make us play a single note. That's the best joke I've ever seen. Don't do it. Don't make me play anything. Leave me here. And then exactly one note at the end? Alright, you know what? I'll allow that. But nothing else. Alright, here we go. Five seconds. Oh! <laughs> You've escaped trombone rhythm purgatory. Damn. They made me play notes. <laughs> oh man. Alright, that was wonderful. I like the joke of that. That was that was worth it. Up next we have Roki, tromboner version of the previous chart. So this is a Oh, this is a Miku chart by Joe Tastic. There there's always gotta be a Miku chart, apparently. I think we played this song before, but it was like a different version of it. Unless I'm thinking of another one. These animations never cease to amaze me. <laughs> You're throwing your ass in a circle to this. It is a jam.
Yeah, that one was pretty good. I can't remember if we played that song before. We might have, because it says this is the tromboner version. But I like that one. Rufus is welcoming for maid. Whatever you do, don't try to go in the front. The least helpful NPC. So this is from Final Fantasy VII. Um, if you've never played Final Fantasy VII, you won't recognize it, of course. But I think it's the perfect, perfect song for this. Because it's literally a marching band song. If this isn't in Rebirth, I'm going to be very upset. Also, fun fact, this song is an Easter egg in Final Fantasy IX. After you crash the airship in the evil forest, there's a quick time event you can view where the band is practicing and they play this. And Baku is like, oh, that's pretty good. This better be in, in the next part of the remake. <laughs> You're throwing your ass in a circle to this as well. Whenever you think of Rufus, or see Rufus, you think of Kim Possible. I've never watched it. Yeah, no, there needs to be a goofy marching sequence, and there also needs to be Red 13 in disguise on the boat as a human. It didn't work in the original, and it will not work in the remake, but I want them to do it anyway. <laughs> Man, that takes me back. And no, uh, Manta, I've never seen Kim Possible. Is it bad that you can picture a marching band to this with the ultra dramatic symbol crashes? No, that's the whole point. That's the whole point. Like I said, it was it was perfect for this. All right, hold on. <laughs> Here we go. I've mentioned it a few times tonight. I've been dreading it the whole time. This is going to be five minutes of absolute hell. Uh, e. Yes, E. We played Rush E and we played Rush E 2 separately in two different previous streams, and some maniac has decided to combine them into one giant song. I'm assuming the person that made the other two charts. All right. Rip that difficulty and my wrist, probably. The whole point of this is that it's like impossible, but I... <laughs> fuck it, we're gonna do it anyway. Now I'm having war flashbacks. Oh, it gets worse. This is the easy part. <laughs> 
There it is. I think this is the chart that Guardy or somebody said last time that even the automatic trombone player mod couldn't do it. <laughs> it's, like, even a computer couldn't play it. They had to, like, tone it down because of that shit. <laughs> I'm gonna break my keyboard by the end of the night. Longest combo's 10! Hey, we're double digits! We're double digits, hell yeah! Have I seen the centipede chart? No, I didn't know there was one. Now I kind of want to download that. <laughs> Yeah, I saw somebody charted the entire Revenge of the Sith movie. All right, and gotta see. When we did Rush E by itself and Rush E2 by itself, we got a C, and we did a C with both of them combined. I'm pleased with that. You say do it, Soulism? All right, I'll tell you what. <laughs> uh, let me take a look at the Discord real quick and see if I can find this. It's called Centipede. It's, uh, yeah, I'm not looking forward to this. <laughs> All right. Let's do it. You miss Nimble Blonde Boy? Don't worry, there will be plenty of Final Fantasy VII in the future of this channel. How hard could this be? Giant tropical centipedes share their territories. We got this. We're not going to miss a single note. Despite its impressive length, it's a nimble navigator, and some can be highly venomous. As quick as lightning, just like the tarantula it's killing, the centipede has two curved hollow fangs, which inject paralyzing venom. I'm just waiting for it. Even tarantulas aren't immune from an ambush. This centipede is a predator. <laughs> I 
<laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Longest combo, 21! <laughs> no way! <laughs> can't even see the, the notes! <laughs> We're just hitting buttons, man. We're just hitting buttons. Hey, 21! <laughs> Where are the notes? <laughs> the notes were like, even we can't keep up with this shit. There, oh, wait, there they are! <laughs> wow. <laughs> Was that worth it? Was that worth the wait? Oh. Damn. Couldn't even make a C. Alright, well that was worth it, I think. That was fun. Scrolling back down to where we left off. So, when I think of that song, I think of this video, I'd have to find it, um... God, I can't even remember the girl's name, but a streamer that plays, um... Beat Saber... was... doing that song. Like, she was gonna record herself playing the song, but she forgot to mute her mic in her headset. And so, the whole video picked up her, like, singing and, like, beatboxing along to it, and it was the funniest fucking thing. And she posted it like, no, all my videos are ruined! <laughs> It's really funny. I'm gonna have to see if I can look it up. Um, that's what I think of every time I hear that song. Well, let's move on to something normal. From 1990, we have Ryu's theme. I would just be screaming. Honestly, it was really funny. Um, I'll see if I can find it and like post it in the Discord later. Oh my god, nice. Man, Street Fighter's come a long way. You know, I think I missed out, because I never played the old-school Street Fighters. Street Fighter 4 was my first one. I played that one in 5, and then just lost interest. This seems so calm, I know, right? This is very calm compared to <laughs> Some nice relaxing Street Fighter music. That was very relaxing compared to that last one. I love that they had the little pixelated uh, trombone fighter there. That was a nice touch. Sonic hat, okay. Where'd I put that? That's not it. Old headset with the star sticker still from the charity stream. Should probably move that. Sonic hat, okay. Just in time for making a sandwich. I wonder if I can get this on without taking off my headset. It's literally just sitting on my head. <laughs> Alright, where's my timer at? Alright, making a sandwich. 
AKA Arvin's theme. The song plays in the most difficult part of the entire game, making a sandwich that actually looks edible. This is from Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. You know, I played that entire game and I don't think I made a single sandwich. Vibe to this while making a sandwich. Make a kitchen playlist and put this on it. actually listen to music while you cook so you don't have to socialize at the same time. Yeah, I mean, we'll do that too. I'll listen to music. Hi, Miki. <laughs> uh, also, I just want to tell a story real quick, because you said you want to get a panini press, Dizzy? Um, fun fact about me, the word panini and the concept of panini sandwiches in general um, make me irrationally angry, uh, which is not your fault. So, one time, I ordered a sub, right? Like a cold cut sub, like a hoagie, you know, a submarine sandwich. And the place that I ordered from sent me a burnt panini that was just two pieces of bread and onion. That's what they did to me. <laughs> I ordered a sub and I got burnt bread with onion that had clearly been put in a panini press. <laughs> That is up there with the time that my coworker, I was working an overnight shift, and she was like, hey, I'm gonna go and pick up some fast food. Would you like a burger? And I said, sure, I'll take a burger. She comes back, and I opened my burger, and all I had was the bun, the condiments, and that was it. There was no meat patty. There was no nothing. It, it was just that. And I'm like, why? Why do these things happen to me? Anyway, say what you will. From James Blake, Circular Breathing Mod is recommended for this version. Well, I don't have that. James Blake is an English musician, singer, songwriter, and producer. This song is taken from the album Friends Who Break Your Heart. This chart is so good. Well, it recommends a mod that I do not have. I do have terrible luck with sandwiches. It's, it's true. You're not wrong. Oh. I like his mug. Horn Lord wins record haul. <laughs> Not the Horn Lord reference again. Hey, I recognize that background. That was in uh, Chariots of Fire. A lore trombone. Oh, a lone trauma. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, 
I should be free now. Happy birthday. Just doot. They do have lore. You want a Just Doot poster on your wall? Hey! <laughs> hey, look! <laughs> we played that chart! I love that there was a reference to a chart we played earlier tonight. Yeah, this is really emotional. Like, what? <laughs> why are we getting feelings in Trombone Jam? Is it quiet on purpose? Okay, good. I was like, did we lose music again, like in Final Fantasy X? Dude, but it makes me sad. Oh! <laughs> I'm so happy to be there. It's really good. <laughs> that chart was really good. You weren't wrong. Just shy of an S. Who made this? <laughs> We're all in our feelings now. All right, yes. Okay. I've been excited for this one. This is one of the other tracks that I had requested and somebody made Gloom Honk. Okay, yeah. I noticed that he had... So, like, he referenced his, his other charts that we've played. Like, um, the one that we played earlier from Drive. And then, of course, he... Use the background from the Chariots of Fire one. Um, I, I love that. But I requested this one, and whoever made it did it like two and a half months ago. That's how long it's been since we've played this game. My Shiny Teeth and Me from Fairly Odd Parents. It's a classic. How can you not like this song? So 
It's such a good song. That was so worth it. I've been looking forward to playing that this whole time. <laughs> oh, man. That was so worth it. I can't remember who made that when I requested it, but thank you. Um, all right, up next is Simpsons Auditions from 1993. Matt Groening originally wanted Lisa Simpson to play the trombone instead of the saxophone, but found it too hard to animate. Oh, boy. Next day, we started auditioning for Chief Wiggum's replacement. You know, we played a Simpsons scene last time, too. Get off the stage! I like the no context of this. Good Lord, Dr. Doolittle is Chief Wiggum. I love not knowing what the hell that was even about. Oh no, you got the NSMB bonus stage chart? Why is that an oh no? Sir Duke from the album Songs in the Key of Life. Another Gloomhawk from 1976. Okay, so this is an old one. I wonder if this is going to be as emotional as his last chart. I'm guessing not. You like it? 70s music is awesome. The yeah, 80s dropped the ball a little bit. I love the animation in the background. This is like a really 
between the song and the animation, I just really like feel like this is a vibe for like, oh, it's the final concert. <laughs> Pulling out all the stops. It's Stevie Wonder, y'all. <laughs> God damn it. Does anybody know who this is? I could uh, re-download to Xanarkand if we want. Please don't! <laughs> I can't remember if anybody complained when we did the Final Fantasy X battle music either. That was so good. That was so good. Stevie Wonder is always a good choice. Wow, 1976. I always forget that he's been making music that long. You just be like, oh, I know I've heard this. You're horrible with names, artists, and famous people. Okay. You actually had the oh shit, what, that's who sings this moment a couple months ago with the song. I knew it happens all the time to me. What was the song? Do you remember? I'm gonna be honest, I don't remember that Stevie Wonder song. This is like the first time I've heard it in a long time. I like it! It's a jam. Um, anyway, moving on. What do we have? Sleeping bob um. Let's give him an oh-so-gentle wake-up tap, Mario. Okay. Dead and Gone by State Champs. I have never heard of them. Oh, more paper, Mario. We had one other Paper Mario song earlier. It's gonna put me to sleep. <laughs> Alright, everybody stand up and stretch. If you're sleepy, this is gonna knock you out. Jokes on you, I'm always sleepy. Mood. It's funny what, dare I ask? Honestly, this is a nice break from all the chaos, I will admit. Love a good air horn in my lullabies. Somebody reads the screen doors. Um, I have a few questions. <laughs> Okay, well that was that was a nice change of pace. 
Your non-mod chat delay is so high and your stream delay is so low that messages show up on your stream before you see them in chat. Really? Is that- is that so? I don't know how to fix that. So stream chat is like a second ahead of your live chat. Interesting. Does anybody know how to fix that? <laughs> Thank you for pointing that out. Um... I shit, I don't know anything. I haven't messed with the settings for anything like that. Probably since I signed up for Twitch. That's a setting on your mod dashboard. Okay, I'll have to look into that. Um... One of the mods in chat, can you drop a note in the Discord mod chat? Like, remind me to... to check that. Because if the stream chat is showing up on the stream before it's showing up in chat, that's definitely scuffed. Alright, is this the one that you're saying? Is this the one that you're saying I, you were saying oh no about? New Super Mario Brothers U bonus. Good luck. Oh lord. You know what, we played Centipede. I don't think anything can be worse than that. You know, I played a little bit of this game. I lied about that I've never played a Mario game, now that I remember. I've played a little bit of this, and I liked it, but I didn't get very far. I don't think I'm hitting any of the notes. <laughs> that wasn't so bad. I missed pretty much all the notes, but it wasn't so bad. Hey, I got a B. I'll take that. Sonic Drowning, 12 seconds of wrist pain and anxiety. <laughs> Another defining thing from my childhood. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I don't care how bad I did. That's one of the best charts I've ever seen. Sonic Unleashed E rank. I never played Sonic Unleashed. It actually sounds like reasonably inspiring for being the worst score you could get. <laughs> Does anyone know what Sonic game was for the GameCube and you could play as Shadow? Are you talking about the solo Shadow game, Shadow the Hedgehog, or was Shadow in it? where you could play as him, because it might... I wonder if you're thinking of Sonic Adventure 2. Because Shadow had a solo game. Um, Sonic 06? I don't think that was on GameCube. I think that was on PS3. Which, Sonic 06 is one of the worst games that was ever made. You could choose between Sonic and Shadow. So Sonic Adventure. Sonic Adventure 2. Um, which, fun fact, is on my stream list for very soon. Uh, <laughs> I've already been thinking I want to stream that later this summer, because it's a very quick game. It's not that long. Um, I streamed Sonic Adventure 1, like, two years ago. Uh, and I've been wanting to play 2. Shadow had guns in his solo game. The, uh, the Shadow the Hedgehog game that came out. They were like, hey, what does Shadow need besides all of his hedgehog powers? Let's just give him fucking guns, for some reason. I've never played it. I've heard it's terrible. So up next we have the Stardust Speedway B-Mix. Um, it looks like... 2022. Metal Sonic theme. Is this from Sonic Mania? Stardust Speedway, the music is... Oh! 
Start of Speedway is one of the best levels. This sounds like it's just straight up Sonic CD, though. Or maybe not. This has got to be from Mania. Which, Sonic Mania is a fantastic game. Sonic Heroes. Yeah, Sonic Heroes was also on the GameCube. I remember that one, too. But Sonic Adventure 2 was the first game Shadow was in. I was just assuming it was that, but... I don't know. See, I love how this person has the gameplay in the background, but we're not hearing the gameplay. We're not hearing all the rings and the spin dashes blowing out our headphones. the shit out of Sonic Heroes. Maybe that's the one you're thinking of. Trombone does not fit in this song at all. It was definitely Sonic Adventure 2. Well, if you're feeling nostalgic, I am planning to stream that probably this summer. I've been itching to play it. Also, they've ported um, Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 to modern systems, uh, so you could probably get it on Steam or something else. You don't need an emulator for it anymore. Star Wars Force theme. John Williams invented the trombone a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. 1977. So this is the original... This is going to get muted. Maybe not. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's not what I was expecting at all. Imagine duding up a staircase. What better place to do it? Oh, just shy of an A. That sounds awful. Superman theme. Pure brass is the only known defense against kryptonite. From 1978. This is a classic, uh, a classic movie theme right here. Why are they playing Man of Steel over it? <laughs> Don't get me wrong, Man of Steel is a great movie. They should have uh, done the classic Superman. It's so weird hearing this but seeing Man of Steel. <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> that was that was wonderful. Is that a bird? No, it's a plane. No, it's the dude. <laughs> oh, that could have been the perfect opportunity to have people looking up at the sky and there's just a giant trombone. All right, this next song, I know I should talk 80s music a lot, and that's because overall it sucks, but there's occasionally an 80s song that is just, it transcends, and I think this one is one of them. From 1985, this is Take On Me, the music video you know and love, now with more trombones. This chart is a classic. This song is a classic. Isn't there a TikTok filter that, like, mimics the music video of everything being hand-drawn or something now? Oh my god. Yeah. There's two kinds of people. People that love this song, and people that don't want to admit they love this song. It's a classic. Man, are they recreating the entire music video? Also, I have to say, the version that the band recorded for Deadpool 2 that was acoustic, also fantastic. Makes it a lot more emotional, though. <laughs> I have not seen the uh, the cover. No, I, I didn't even know there was one. This animation is impressive. It's a ska remix? Oh lord. That means I mean they're gonna love it or hate it. I'm loving this. That was wonderful. <laughs> that was so good. And that reminds me. That reminds me of something I forgot that I had. Hold on, let me get back to the track select screen. So, you all know I got this record cabinet behind me, right? Right there. I also have a collection of 45s. And I have no shame and showing that I have the 45 of this song. It is a classic. Also, the 45 is blue, which is just really nice. I love when they make them different colors. But anyway, let's get back to the duding. Up next is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. 
Incredible. It's a classic song. I mean, how can you not like it? I have to admit, I never really watched this show. We're really hip. <laughs> Classic. Someone got this mixed up with the Digimon theme? Does it sound similar? I want the DVD collection of this, but can't find it. Oh, did they not sell it? Ah, yes. I was wondering if we were going to have a Final Fantasy XIV track tonight. This is The Extreme from Shadowbringers, Ultimicia Never Newer, uh, though The Extreme is originally from Final Fantasy VIII, which is potentially something I'm going to stream in the near future as well. It's either that or six. I do really like the version of this from 14, though. If I can get the timing right. It sounds awful. <laughs> Maybe it'll sound better once the song gets going. We're just missing all the notes. The timing is off. <laughs> it's just not great. <laughs> hey, don't worry. The actual song, when I'm not fucking it up. There. Well, maybe not. <laughs> it would sound better if I wasn't the one playing it. <laughs> I can't get it. It's not the worst thing our ear holes have been exposed to. All right, here we go. I don't know why, I just could not get the timing on that down. See, and here we go again. <laughs> oh, I'm butchering this. I got that part. Oh, jeez. It's such a good version of the song, too. I love it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I can't get this. Oh, God, it's throwing me off so bad. 
We're just gonna, you know what, let's listen to the piano. The piano is way, way nicer than me. Nasty, 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 nasty. It's definitely a tricky one. I just could not get the timing of that down. But, I love that song. I'm still deciding between replaying Final Fantasy VIII or playing Final Fantasy VI for the first time uh, later in the year. Time to make history. Oh, Persona 4! It's time to dance and make history. Background by Jotastic, charted by Silver. Another Persona song. We've had quite a few of those today. Oh my god. Yeah, we've had quite a few Persona tracks, actually. Not just tonight, but in general. Oh god. So who's the character dancing, I want to know. It's not the same one from the last chart. Why is every song in Persona such a bop? <laughs> I haven't heard a bad song yet. Nothing about Persona, this makes me think issues are solved with dance battles. <laughs> uh, you know. Persona 5 is the best original soundtrack. I have loved every Persona song that we've played uh, tonight and otherwise. Okay, we're getting close to the end then. If uh, if Waluigi Pinball down there is, is coming up for the letter W through the alphabet. So we've only got a few more songs left then. Uh, the plan is once we finish through the alphabet, I'm gonna go back and replay that one, two, three thing as the final song, because that thing was so cursed and so funny, and I just, I want to play it again. So another Jotastic chart here. Tundemo Wonders. It's a Vocaloid, okay. One day, Sasakure.uk decided to write the clown anthem to end all clown anthems, and the rest was history. Huh. Stream Persona 5. Isn't that game like a hundred hours long? I've seen people stream it. Um, that would have to be... I mean, if I was going to stream Persona 5, that wouldn't be anytime soon. I've got so many other things. Oh, no. What? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
This is so high energy. Took you 120 hours. Holy shit. That's a long time, especially if you're doing it on stream. was so peppy and and happy <laughs> it's almost 4 a.m here you need sleep oh jesus okay yes guardy please get some sleep it was good to see you as always thanks for hanging out with us hope you have a good night we're not too far from the end here all right up next is toot toot <laughs> nine seconds long <laughs> oh no <laughs> don't tell me no don't tell me it's broken again and we're stuck with this I can't hit escape <laughs> Of all the fucking songs to have this happen again, we had to get this one. It just actually, you know, you know what? I just all right. This one's only nineteen seconds long. Trombone scooter. Annoy your neighbors with this one trick. You say final trombone chip stream and the game's like, oh, really? I know. Oh. <laughs> there was no reason for that to exist, but... <laughs> No reason for that to be a thing, but I'm so glad that it was. All right, Waluigi Pinball. Oh my god. That was incredible. <laughs> oh god! I wasn't expecting this. Actually, you know what? I'll wait till this song's over, but I have an idea. was fun. Are you fucking kidding me right now? <laughs> God fucking damn it!
Assuming these things don't keep breaking. Um, I'll just, uh, I'll, I'll elaborate on that in a bit. It's one that we've played before, but since this is the final concert, I wanted to play it again. Is this Persona? No, it's not Sephiroth. We already had Sephiroth Kong. <laughs> we we scratched that itch today. What's up, Peaches? See dance battles every time. <laughs> I was wondering if you would notice that. Yeah, this song is a jam so far. I like it. I just... I've never played Persona, but I just love the soundtracks. Every song I hear... It's just so good. It goes so hard you're doing the worm. <laughs> at the end. <laughs> that, uh, that song was very good. You might open Persona 5 again. Hey, look, we were actually able to finish the song. Alright, Windmill Isle from Sonic Unleashed. You know, I never actually played Sonic Unleashed. I felt like... I definitely judged the book by its cover. I was like, why is Sonic turning into a werewolf? Still don't know. You know, no matter how bad a Sonic game is, if it is bad, the music is never bad. Yeah, this is really good. Sonic game music is always good. That's the one thing they never get wrong.
Yeah, that was really good. It ended kind of abruptly, though. All right, we're getting down to the wire here. Wiping all out. We want FEMC DLC Atlas. What? <laughs> what is this from? You're kind of sad it ended. I'm sure you could find an extended version of it on YouTube. 15 minutes. It just kind of ended. What is this from? Is this more Persona? Either way, it's still a dance battle. It's an Atlas game, but you don't recognize it. Well, it's called Wiping All Out. I'll have to Google it. Why do I feel like it's Persona? <laughs> It's Persona 3, is it really? Damn, I hate being right all the time. Guardy, I thought you went to bed. <laughs> I was like, it's got the look and feel of Persona with the characters that are on the screen. What's it like to be God's favorite? <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, I thought so too. Turns out I didn't. Just can't resist the dudes, huh? Do the Persona games have, like, a connection, like, it's the same characters each game and the story continues, or is it like Final Fantasy, where each one is different? The trombone doesn't sound good with the song. You don't have to be ashamed about saying that. <laughs> <laughs> it's half the point half the time. It's like Final Fantasy. Okay, so you don't have to play 3 and 4 to jump into 5. That was why I wanted to know if I'm ever going to play it. You see that little snowman on the sign that's Jack Frost and he's a series regular. So is he like, like Moogles? Like they're always there? All right. Woe that is madness. This says Soken, so I'm guessing this is from Final Fantasy XIV. Hello, fellow tromboner. Hello, welcome. Oh, shit. Okay, this is awesome.
This is kind of relaxing. And then that happens. <laughs> Fucking air horn. Oh no, the sitting when the night bullet's is kicking in is a dangerous combo. We'll uh, we'll try to to do you to sleep. <laughs> Who needs sleep sounds? Just listen to trombone jam. If you make it to the final song that I plan to do very shortly, that will probably put you to sleep. Trombone Jam is my fever dream. Honestly, I love it. I've pretty much exclusively only played custom songs people make. I've barely played any of the actual songs the game comes with. What a fun scuffed game. It really is. I think Humming Sword had sent me a trailer or something. I can't remember what the game's called, but there's another one somebody's making that is similar, but it has like a whole band. So, like, you can play with four people. I can't remember what that game's called, but it has four different instruments and four people can play. It plays exactly like this. So it's, like, kind of a ripoff. That was very relaxing. How'd we do? S! Love to see it. Alright, we got two more songs from the regular list, and then we're gonna replay one song, and then we're gonna play the final song. So four songs! We're almost done. Four songs left. And of course, another classic from 1978, the YMCA. Everybody loves this song too, just like Take On Me. I love that it's got the music video. I used to work at the YMCA, fun fact. <laughs> This is so camp. <laughs> That's the whole point, my friend. have as much fun as these guys are having. Not a care in the world. It stands for Young Men's Christi uh, Christian Association, yes. But I don't believe that it really is anymore, because when I worked there, it had nothing to do with religion at all. Yeah, I want their energy, exactly. <laughs> Oh, 
Also, when I worked there, I never heard this song once. <laughs> I expected it to be like on the radio or something and it was not. I feel like they distanced themselves from it. Their mistake. Why is that guy on the left dressed like peaches? You bet this song is banned? Maybe that's why, I don't know. It's the zoom in and out on the sign. <laughs> That's the part that screams can't be to me more than anything. All right. The song makes you feel either like you're at the gay bar or a baseball game. There's no in between. Or, or what if it means, what if it makes you feel like you're watching a baseball game at the gay bar? Never thought of it that way. Alright, well, it has been a lot of fun. It is not there. Did I put it in the wrong folder? Wait, hold on. Because I'm seeing other things out of order. Hmm. Interesting, I don't see it. I don't like that they changed where you install things. Doing a, another check through. Yeah, I don't see it. Heck, I really want to play it. I really want to play it. It's too bad it doesn't let you search. Um, hang on, let me double check my files. Because it only takes two seconds to install a song. So this is where I put this. Is that the right folder, though? Yep, I did put it in the wrong place. Okay, well, we'll just restart the game real quick. It takes two seconds. We are going to play one more song. I have to do it. It's too bad it doesn't let you search. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Well, there's no noise. Uh, hello? Why did that break now? <laughs> oh no. What the hell? This has been a broken stream. There's so much noise. <laughs> There's been so, there was so much fucking noise. I don't know why that broke. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right, so here's my plan. I'm gonna play you guys out. I'm gonna treat this as my stream ending screen. I'm gonna turn off my camera and turn off my microphone and I'm gonna just play this song and the stream's gonna end. I had to do it. Melodies of Life from Final Fantasy IX. What a perfect song. A perfect song to end the final trombone concert. Thank you guys for hanging out and keeping me company. As always, I can't believe I've been doing this for over five hours. This has been a scuffed fucking stream. The stream has been so scuffed. Things have been breaking left and right like fucking Bully Maguire, but we made it. We made it. <laughs> we played all 96 songs. So anyway, you guys have a good one. 
I don't know when I'm streaming again. It'll probably be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, somewhere around there where we'll continue Final Fantasy X 2. But yeah, that's going to do it for me. So hold on. Let's get the right song. Anyway, oh God, it's if I scroll in OBS, I scroll in the game. All right. Hold on. Congrats on doing this. Thank you for the stream, Restwell. Yes, thank you for being here, Trev. And Manta, and Peaches, and Spooky, and Fio, and Guardy, and Tr everybody. Just thank you. I appreciate it. But let's play Melodies of Life without my, uh, without my laughter. And I will see you guys next week. All right. And hold on. I got to get my camera source. All right. We out.